Hello investors, welcome to Business Learnings, sad news from Vishakhapatnam. Uh, the time that I am making this video, 11 people have died, hundreds are uh, hospitalized. Uh, let's pray that they, they recover and let's pray for the souls of the deceased people. Uh, the world must go on and uh, we must continue with our work. Meanwhile, the investigation there goes on. So yes, today's company is ITC Limited. Uh, I'll talk about the company. Uh, why has the stock beaten down? It used to trade at 333 rupees. It went up to all time high of 333 rupees two years ago, and uh, today it closed at 163 rupees. So more than 50 percent of correction, uh, and no such issues have been found in this company. Corporate governance is perfectly fine. Revenues, profits, they have been increasing between 5 to 10 percent every year. Uh, cigarette business, you know that people are not going to give up smoking cigarette even if you increase prices and that is uh, what providing the earning visibility. ITC has diversified itself into multiple businesses and all of the businesses are doing well still the stock is beaten down we'll first try to understand the negatives why the stock has been beaten down so much uh, then we will try to understand what are the things that could drive the stock price in future and whether it's a good stock to invest or not and if it is a good stock to invest what kind of returns can you expect in this stock so the most recent reason is government will sell all of its stake so 22,000 crore rupees worth of stake government has in ITC limited and government will sell all of it uh, to get money you know government has already spent already spent a lot beyond its uh, fiscal fiscal deficit has widened more than five six percent and it is going to widen a lot government had plans to di uh, divest from some PSUs but that didn't quite happen as as much as the government had planned so government is selling its stake in ITC access bank and <clears throat> government holds uh, 7.94 percent of ITC imagine if the government dumps all those shares the supply of ITC shares is going to drastically increase in the market and with the demand almost remaining same supply increasing the price is going to go down that is what the most important the most current reason for the downfall of uh, ITC stock price now uh, another recent reason is government recently imposed taxes on alcohol if you have been following the news in Delhi while the alcohol was uh, being sold 70% of tax was imposed on that uh, <clears throat> alcohol and cigarettes they are considered as the key revenue generators because government earns a lot of revenue from earns a lot of profit from those kinds of companies so so the cascading impact the the analogous impact uh, analysts are assuming that the cigarette business might also get some tax impositions so that government can recover some money and that has also been pushing down the price of uh, ITC since ITC's main profit comes from the cigarette business itself that's why uh, this kind of beating has 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 been there on the stock uh, third and uh, Another uh, important thing that has been the driver of uh, ITC's price in the past few years is the increased focus of the ESG parameter. So mutual funds, uh, mutual funds follow a lot of regulations, a lot of guidelines. A recent parameter that mutual funds have included while uh, while uh, shortlisting or investing their money in what proportion in, in in the stocks is the ESG parameter: environmental, social, and governance. Tobacco is assumed to be a sin product, right? which means that it gets relatively lesser score on ESG and that's why mutual funds have been dumping out this stock gradually. So although the, there is no such intrinsic bad quality in the stock, this ESG parameter alone is responsible for a lot of downfall. So these are the three key reasons for the downfall of stock. ITC stock. Uh, let's try to understand what are the positive things and I have found a lot. So the free cash flow, the amount of cash that, that the business is generating which is free from everything, you know, 
in the basic terms you can you can read about free cash flow to get a deeper understanding but just assume that after this particular financial year how much cash will be will i be able to have with me that is my free cash flow uh, not the exact definition but you can get the analogy right so free cash flow of of itc is more than the free cash flow of hul dabur and merico and nestle all these four major fmcg companies combined combine their free cash flows and itc has more free cash flow than all those four combined right so this is a lot of money and why this is important because because in these times of lockdown when when uh, the economy is locked down people are not buying a lot of things uh companies which have you know which 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 have some obligations in terms of interest payments in terms of salaries they struggle because they are not generating their any revenues but they still have their expenditures itc has a lot of cash to sustain for a long time so this this brings me to the another point of uh, of um, the interest coverage ratio of uh, itc it's 415 interest coverage ratio is uh from your operating profit how much money so how many times uh you have your uh, your loans and you have interests outstanding on those loans so from your operating income how many times can you pay back that interest itc's number is 415 uh typically fmcg industries have this number in the range of 50 to 100 other companies have this number in the range of 10 20 some companies have this number in fraction between 0 to 1 so this is the command that itc has in terms of in terms of the sustainability of the business lockdown may continue for uh, for several few months even if, if even if the lockdown continues for one two years itc will survive itc is one of the companies which will survive through any any uh, extended time of lockdown so yes this is a huge positive next is uh, is is it's diversification right uh, itc was primarily a tobacco company but in the recent years it has been making consistent efforts to diversify in the fmcg sector and they have been doing quite well if not very good they have been doing quite well quite decent in terms of diversification and going forward in the next couple of decades i think they are they are going to achieve a drastic a transition from tobacco to non tobacco or uh, fmcg kind of business right so this is a huge positive uh, because uh, this tobacco business itself is getting a very low valuation its pe is very low as compared to the fmcg business of itc so going forward the pe expansion is going to be there and valuations are only going to increase now coming to the next point is the same amount of risk for the same amount of risk the reward that you are getting at itc is quite high uh the downside potential is very less very less very less and the upside potential is immense so for the same amount of risk for the least amount of risk you are getting a very high reward uh, a lot of people just look for multi baggers uh the thing with with multi baggers is is they give you returns but they also demand a good enough quantity of risk and that's what the problem is itc will give you return but it will not ask you for a high amount of risk and that is a very big positive thing about itc uh next is uh, is 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 yeah next is the dividend so itc has been the dividend yield of itc is is about uh 3 to 4% which means of all the earnings that uh, of approximately whatever the share price is itc will give 3 to 4% of uh it as dividend so so uh, forget the definition of dividend yield i just told so itc is typically giving out the dividends of 6 to 7 rupees per year and these companies these established companies their the dividends are sticky in nature if they give some div- dividend in particular year they are typically they give keep giving that kind of dividend if they have they have given 6 rupees last year they will give 6 year next year also 6 year uh, the year after that also and they are not going to decrease their dividend so if you just look at the returns you should also include the money that you are getting from the dividend right and that's what 
increases your uh, your overall return by three four percent, whatever the the dividend yield of ITC is. Okay, so yes, again a good thing. Now coming to the valuations now. Current PE ratio of ITC is close to 13. Its historical PE ratio has been uh, 33. And as as the company diversifies into non-tobacco business, its PE is only going to increase. Uh, consider HUL. HUL has a PE ratio of more than 70. I think it was 100 or 70. I don't know, but it's quite high. It's 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 five or six times more than IDC. IDC can attain that kind of valuation if it's tobacco free, if it it has that kind of business model. But never mind. Uh, it has still an upside of two to three times, two to three hundred to two hundred percent is still could be seen in IDC in the next coming few years, and that's what my uh, understanding is. So again, a very strong buy call on this company. Please consult your financial advisor before making any investment decisions. Uh, if you have any questions, please put them down in the comment box below. I, I hope this uh, video was helpful. 